Hello, Renee. Thanks for your phone call earlier. And I'm sorry having difficulties with the uh, disc brake roadster brake booster. We'll go over what I was discussing earlier. What I mentioned uh, about the bleed screw uh, seat weep hole. This is a weep hole right here. It goes all the way inside. And that is your first line of defense uh, to tell you that there's a problem internally with this, uh, with this stack of uh, parts right here. I just use a 1 16th inch, inch drill bit and clean that out. Now then, you obviously have got your gasket and then this uh, bolts to the can with your reinforcing plate. That's not a problem. That's pretty st straightforward. So this is the uh, sequence of events. This is the seal that goes back here. And uh, this is the final seal between hydraulic and vacuum. And this is a pretty st straightforward job. Just tap it in there. I do put uh, uh, a Loctite on there just to help it go in. I know you don't need to but I do just to make sure this stays in place Now then switching over to the other side. This is our stack of parts got the o-ring that goes down the bottom right here That o-ring sits right down there next goes your beveled washer And that sits right on top of that o-ring and sometimes you can get in there successfully first time. Now I do lubricate all these parts when I install them. That O-ring gets lubricated because this beveled washer is pushing against it and acting as a seal down there. Next we have the what I call the Mexican hat. Again, I lubricate the heck out of this. Next we've got our plastic that goes on top of the Mexican hat. And next we've got that flat washer. Now you may be able to see down inside there. I don't know if it's possible to see down inside there or not, but the, the groove for the snap ring is actually hidden by that washer. So if I take the washer out, it's possible you can see the snap ring groove down there. Anyway, not important. The reason I'm mentioning that is because this stack of parts, when you put this snap ring in place, you've got to press that snap ring and force it into the groove so that you're then putting pressure on the stack of parts because that's how it seals. So if you can't, if you can just put the snap ring in there without uh, any effort, then there's a problem someplace in your operation, and it could be uh, it can be corrected by either the um, thickness of this washer, it's just um, you know standard washer, or you can correct it by the uh, thickness of the uh, beveled washer down at the bottom Anyway, uh, the beveled washers do come in different thicknesses and different styles. So some are fiber and then some are um, Aluminum uh, uh, Smooth edge and then some are aluminum with a, um, a ridge on them But the important thing is when that snap ring goes into place It has to be forced into the snap ring groove. So that everything is under compression and that's it That's all that keeps your brake fluid and hydraulic, uh, brake, your hydraulic and your vacuum apart from each other.